the impact of Kawhi Leonard's knee injury on the Clippers and Mavs series. Kawhi Leonard is a big name when you talk about the Los Angeles Clippers, and he is not just a player, but he is a six-time All-Star player and a two-time NBA champion. Kawhi didn't get all the accolades that he now has in the NBA because at the start of his career, he didn't have all the admirable qualities you would often see in natural-born stars. Kawhi Leonard has made history since he joined the NBA in 2011. He has won the Defensive Player of the Year twice. That's not all man has played in many games where he made immeasurable feats and left unforgettable memories. But heroes do have their dark times and Kawhi has been through tough times that felt like his career has ended, but pretty much like a phoenix, he would always come out stronger. Some injuries like the one he sustained in 2023 was believed to have been a simple injury, but further observation indicated that it was serious. He had torn the meniscus in his right knee, which led him to miss games three, four, and five of that year. These games resulted in the Clippers being eliminated by the Suns. This was a big blow for Kawhi, who had been plagued with multiple injuries prior to this one. In 2017, he sprained his left ankle during the playoffs. This was a jinx after he was injury-free for five seasons straight a first time in his NBA career. After recovery, he got injured yet again, this time a quadriceps injury and missed a total of 27 games. He returned by December, but had to quickly return to continue his rehab. In 2019, which was his season with the Raptors, Kawhi made it injury-free and went on to win the championship. In 2021, he tore his ACL in his second year with the Clippers, and this made him miss out during the entire postseason and the Clippers 2021 and 22 campaign. There have been less reports about the status of Kawhi's injury after missing the final eight games of the regular season due to a right knee inflammation. The head coach Ty Lue has continued to emphasize that the team is hopeful that Leonard Kawhi would be back before the playoffs begin. Kawhi has been missing in action since March 31st, and his return does not seem imminent. But the impact Kawhi's absence will have on the team as they face the Mavericks in their opening postseason match. Although in previous meetings with the Clippers, Luka Doncic and his teammates have met two losses. So this new meetup would either make the two teams share a winning margin or the Clippers would show who the boss is. However, with Kawhi missing, the possibility of the Mavs having a hard time is minute. The magnificent combo of James Harden, Kawhi Leonard and Russell Westbrook have been a great card well played by the Clippers, but this Sunday would be a tough one for the team. The Mavs won 16 of their 17 games with the presence of Luka and Kyrie and were known to be the number one defense team in the league. Kawhi would be the perfect player to hold Luka in place, but his likely absence would pose more danger for the Clippers and make winning easier to the Mavs. The team knows how much of a force a healthy and fully featured Kawhi would bring to the game, but it would be too early to judge. Coach Ty Lue must have some things up his sleeve just in case Kawhi can't make it back to play for the team. The game would be an eventful one. 